guys, we are back from swim lessons and I have our um, okra all put up in the freezer. I saved out enough to go ahead and make one um, pot of our Turkish okra for tonight. So I'll show you how we do that. All right, so I'm going to heat the skillet over medium heat, add some olive oil, I don't measure. And I'm gonna put the onions in. So these are just some sliced onions. And we're gonna let them cook until they become kind of translucent. And then I'm gonna add um, some red peppers to it. And these are sweet peppers. Let me show you these. So they look like this or this shape here in Turkey. In America, you could use just some sweet red bell peppers. Um, it's gonna have basically the same flavor, but this is what we're using here. So I'm gonna chop that real quick. All right, so I got my pepper all cut up and we're gonna add it in with the onions. And stir those around just a little bit. Add the peppers. And we're gonna let those just saute for a couple minutes. Right. While that's cooking, I'm going to um, peel and mince two cloves of garlic. All right, so I got my garlic mince. We're going to add it. Right, I'm just going to stir that around a little bit. It smells so good. All those good flavors. And now I'm gonna add my okra. These are the ones that we washed and cut the little stems off of and I'll put them in whole. And this we're just gonna let saute. Smells so good. All right. Oil in there just so that it can get all the okra can get coated with olive oil. And while that is salting, I'm going to grab my other ingredients. Alright, so I'm adding two chopped tomatoes. that cooking and so from here I'm just going to turn the heat down and I'm just going to let it simmer and cook like that cup uh, stirring it every few minutes um, for about 20 minutes and we're going to go see what Lee's cooking to go with this all right so Lee is going to cook us some fish that he caught two weeks ago yeah it's called Mary John a coiled fish that is very deep water. Me, Isaac, and my friend Volkan, shout out to you, Volkan, and Ismail. We're fishing and caught a lot of fish. These fish are about what we would eat like a brim. They're very small fish. They, they can be big, but 
they are fantastic. They're a bit of expensive to buy because their meat is so tasty. So what we do is yes, the heads are still on them for you people in Mississippi or America. Uh, the jaw meat on these fish are actually really tasty. So we eat the jaw meat. I just roll them in a little flour, put flop seeds in my flour with some Old Bay seasoning or some Slap Your Mama. I just coat them really good with some flour, get it inside, all over them. All over them, and you wanna shake the access off. If you don't shake the access off, it'll burn your oil really quickly. Make sure you dry them off. I dried these off earlier. And let them put, sit in the refrigerator. Cover them really good, inside and out. So now, we're set up outside with my little picnic tube we caught here. I like to fry my fish outside, so here we use uh, some flour oil. So I'm gonna let my oil heat up for just a minute. You don't want it too hot, so you don't wanna burn the fish. You know, all we want them to cook really slowly. Flip a bunch so I can get that oil for it. Always make sure to dust off the access of your stuff. We're gonna test it and see what it's done. Oh, it's perfect. See how they just sizzle? Look at that. That's what you want. You don't want to cook them too fast. You want them just to sizzle in that oil like that right there. Listen to that goodness. You don't want too much oil either. You want just the right amount of oil. Now we just let them cook for about three minutes on each side. Okay. Thank you, Pippa. Bring me the fork. You already have those. Thank you. I'm going to get Daddy a towel, a cooking towel. Pip's my helper. Alright. We're just going to let them cook for two or three minutes. Then we'll flip them really gently. Gonna look at it. Be careful when you flip it because you don't want to damage your fish. You want to flip it really slowly. Uh, I'm gonna let it cook just a little bit longer. Especially the big fish. See how slow it's cooking. I'm cooking these fish really slow. You don't want to cook them fast. Huh? Okay. Tips look rising. Okay. Look inside. Neighborhood. So here in Turkey, in the afternoon is the best time to be outside. People are outside in their yards cooking or eating or just hanging out because it's so hot in the daytime. So we all come out at night. As it's about 7.30 here. I'm ready to eat these fish. I love fish. How brown that is, how pretty that fish is gonna be. Yeah, I did it gently without without damaging any skin. They say I've never eaten this fish, and I'm gonna try. My friend says the skin is the best part. I just roll my grease around, my feet's not actually level, but you can control that. So we're gonna go about two minutes on this side. good. You can hear the goodness cooking. Mm -hmm. Cooking really slow. My grease is not burning. Flip them one more time. And I want to check this meat. 
see what it looks like. My tone. Hold my feet down. I know this little one's done. I'm gonna check this big one. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but look how white that meat is. How pretty it is. Like fish, you like fish. I like fish. All fish. Some people say I don't like fishy fish. What do you mean fishy fish? Fish is a fish. I like it all. Saltwater fish is my favorite. I like the fishy taste. That's why it's called fish. It's got golden brown that fish is. Here. Little big boy back over one more time. I have to get this on.